Hello everyone, welcome back to our Java programming series. In today's video, we are going to talk about control flow statement in Java. So what is control flow statement? Control flow statement allow you to dictate the flow of your program execution, making your code more dynamic and responsive to different conditions. So generally, control flow statement in Java can be categorized in three main types. First one is decision making statement. Second one is looping statement and the last one is called branching statement. So all these three having so many childs. So each category having so many things inside that one. So let's go through some example. So first of all, we are having decision making statement statement so as the name itself saying like let's make some decision so decision making a statement allow your program to choose different path of execution based on certain condition so what kind of condition we can face so the main decision making a statement are in java are mainly four types if statement if else statement nested if else statement and the last one is called switch statement so sometimes you have to put some condition like if your number value is greater than 10 then you want to print something or you want to perform something definitely you can select decision making statement or a simple program like odd and even number right so here you can easily use if and else statement and sometimes we have to go through different condition like on the basis of switch so that part we can easily see in the switch statement so do not panic we'll cover each thing in separate video but you have to make sure this thing will execute if some condition will be satisfied either true or false second one is called looping statement that means we are going to perform some kind of loop operation so looping statement allow you to execute a block of code multiple times based on a condition. The main looping statement in Java are for loop, while loop and do while loop. And trust me, these are very important ones. So you want to print something like 0 to 10. So you no need to type 10 times system.out.println. You can easily cover this kind of things in your for loop or you can say in the while loop or do while loop. The good thing is like in the while and do while loop, we are going to see some kind of condition. So that will be very interesting and definitely will cover in upcoming tutorial. The last one is called branching a statement. So branching a statement allow you to alter the flow of execution based on certain condition. So just imagine you are running a for loop that for loop need to run 10 times and in between you put some condition like after three or four let's break. So this kind of things you can easily see in the branching statement. So the main branching statement in Java are generally three type. First one is called break then continue and the last one is called return. So all are very interesting things. So that's it for the control flow statement in Java. You have to understand like they will allow you to control the flow of your program execution, making your code more dynamic and responsive with different conditions. So let's see you in the next video where we are going to cover if statement.